Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to be discussing nine IELTS reading strategies that will help you score at least a band seven and higher. If this is something you're interested in, then continue watching. Just a little bit about myself. I am a certified English language teacher in Canada, and I've been helping coach IELTS students for the past seven years. I decided to start this YouTube channel to share all the wonderful tips and tricks that I share with my other students to help you in your IELTS journey. Don't forget to, to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I put out content every Friday and you don't want to miss those videos. So the first IELTS reading strategy I have for you is that you need to know that not all question types go in order. So there are actually 14 different question types in the IELTS reading section. So uh, this is kind of a gamble. You don't know what type of question you will get. And the reason why it's important to know what question types go in order and which ones do not is because this will save you a ton of time to find the answers. So if you know that a particular question type goes in order, then you know that you will find um, the, the answer to question one, for example, in paragraph one, and the answer in question two, uh, following where you found the answer for question one. So these are important to note, and I actually have written an article. So check my description box down below for a list of question types that go in order and some that do not. The second IELTS uh, reading strategy that I have for you is that you need to understand the difference between true, false, not given. So this is a particular question type that you may see in the IELTS reading. And a lot of students have a difficult time identifying the difference between false versus not given. So let me just clear that up for you. I'd like to clarify that false means when the information is the in the passage does not match the question, what the question is asking. Meanwhile, not given means something that wasn't mentioned in the question, question and is missing. This is usually related to an object, subject, or some sort of restrict, restrictive language when trying to find the matching sentence. So you need to understand the difference between false and not given because this, is, this could be confusing at times. So the third strategy is that you need to remember to only write an answer based on the reading passage. So what I mean by this is um, some students may have read um, something related to the same topic uh, elsewhere outside of exam hours. And you think, hey, I, I remember reading an article on this particular topic, but that article mentioned something else different than the reading passage I'm given in IELTS uh, reading section. Just stick to what you read in the IELTS reading section, and you want to make sure, make sure you find answers related to the reading passage you are given in the exam time. So number four strategy I have for you is you should try to locate the easiest question to answer first, because if the question does go in order, when you locate the easiest question, it will be very easy for you to find the other answers that follow in between the easiest question you found. So uh, always, 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 I recommend that you start with the easiest question first, because this will save you a ton of time, guys. Remember that you will have to go through three different IELTS reading passages. So you want to make sure that uh, you manage your time properly and you finish on time in order to complete the other two passages. 
So the fifth tip I have for you is that you should focus on the language that comes before and after the word you may potentially think is the answer or leads to the answer because these words are an indica indication of the answer. They're kind of an icebreaker that either the answer is coming up or, what's it, or it's within that particular uh, sentence. So a diagram question is another type of question you may get in the IELTS reading. So uh, some students kind of feel overwhelmed with this type of question, but you, uh, an easy method for you to get through a diagram question is that you should look for keywords in that diagram that will help you locate the answer throughout the passage. And most importantly, remember synonym language, guys. Remember synonym language because I will guarantee you those matching words that you're looking for within the diagram, you won't find the exact same words in the passage. So just keep synonym language in mind when you are skipping and scamming throughout your IELTS reading. And also remember, you do not, you do not have time to read an entire passage word for word. You need to ensure that you practice your skimming and scanning rules. If you don't know how to do this, I will link down another video down below to help you out with skimming and scanning techniques. So a table question is another type of question type you may see in the IELTS reading. And this is also kind of an overwhelming type of question. So just remember that although the table question is uh, has questions uh, written throughout the table, remember that this type of question is literally identical to a fill in the blanks type of question. So it's just written in table style. So just remember to keep that in mind if you do happen to get a table question. And uh, the eighth IELTS strategy I have for you is that if you do get a paragraph location question type, remember that uh, paragraph location questions often use paraphrasing. So you need to remember to pay attention to the topic sentence and try to understand the different sections to look in. So look at the topic sentence and see if that's the paragraph you're exactly looking for, for paragraph location. So the ninth uh, tip I have for you is that you should always start with the question types that go in order before going to the question types that do not go in order, just because this will cut a lot of your time and then you're going to have to spend a lot more time on question types that do, do, do not go in order. And you want to ensure that you spend more time on those to try to figure out the answer. Uh, so if you'd like to see another video explaining my techniques of skimming and scanning and how to exercise these, then check out my other video because you can learn lots of different ways to exercise skimming and scanning. Also, let me know if there are any other videos you'd like to see down below as I'd love to put out new content. Also, let me know if there is any other type of content you'd like to see on my channel for IELTS preparation, and I will definitely take those topics into consideration for future videos. And don't forget to check out my website at eslwords.com because I think all the articles I have written will help you on your IELTS journey.